John Fight returned to court today in week two in the high profile murder trial. The former priest is accused of murdering beauty queen and teacher Irene Garza nearly 60 years ago. CS 4th Priscilla Estrada joins us live outside the courtroom where perhaps the most important witness just took the stand. Priscilla. Nicole, the most important witness today was a monk who claims that Fight confessed the crime to him and also taking the stand was the police officer that that monk called. Now this monk is Dale Tachney. He went in detail describing what Fight confessed to him during the time they were both at a monastery. Tachney says he didn't tell anyone what Fight told him because as a monk it was not his place to judge, only to help him figure out what to do. He says after some time they concluded fight was not fit to live in the monastery and sent him away asking him not to hurt anyone else. Tachney confessed in 2002 to a San Antonio police officer because that's where he believed the crime had happened. That officer was George Sadler who also took the stand today. After some time Sadler connected the crime to the murder of McAllen Beauty Queen and school teacher Irene Garza. Mr. Tachney had uh, called me up and told me he was aware of a homicide that had taken place in San Antonio in, uh, in the early uh, uh, 60s, I guess I would say. And uh, I spoke to him and uh, tried to get some, enough information for him to see if I could locate the homicide within our archives. That he was uh, counseling a person um, and that they had uh, told him how they had committed the, the homicide. At one point as we were talking about things, I asked Father Fight, why are you here? He told you he was being protected by the church. Uh, that's what he said. Nathan Moots, a Texas Ranger who was asked to scan the church, rectory, and pastoral house in 2016, also took the stand. He took jurors on a virtual tour to envision where this all happened. McAllen Police Chief Victor Rodriguez also took the stand. He read a document by John Fay of a timeline from his point of view of the night Irene Garza went missing. Now court will resume tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and you can follow me on social media where I'll be tweeting everything that's happening inside of the courtroom. Live in Edinburgh with Complete Valley coverage, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 Valley at 6.